And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Dyson Sphere Program. And I've got a lot of uh, good old foundations coming in. Uh, so I am on the new system. I have put down the... Uh, what do you call them? Orbital collectors around the second gas giant here. The other gas giant is already already getting siphoned so this planet here this is going to be deuterium <clears throat> all right so yeah i've already put the i've already put the things around here i've already put the solar panels around the whole planet and i've got a nice little area ready for fractionators which we have in large amounts we have a lot of fractionators available. So I'd like to try to get a setup here that's decent. And we're going to have a limited number of fractionators per loop. Because I want to try to maintain and keep them as saturated as possible. The more stuff you push through a fractionator, the, the higher rate of deuterium you're going to get out of it. So if we line all these up, right, and we say like plus, 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 okay, that is 15. Okay, now, oh, you know what? Yeah, let's, I don't think we have to set a recipe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't have to set a recipe. <clears throat> so if I did 20, so... Plus, plus, plus. One more. That should be 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes. All right. <clears throat> so now we have the deuterium output. The... Uh, let's try to snuggle. Well, we don't really need to snuggle them in too too close, but will that work? That will work. Let's get that stretched out. I really wish copying and pasting, copying and pasting, also copied the belts. That would be nice. There's a little hitch in the game every time I add a belt. Not a good sign. Okay. I'll do the I'll do the cross belts later. We'll just make sure. That works. Three. One, two, three. Whoa. Well, I wonder if it saved my previous. Yeah, I, I bet you it saved it. Okay, come on. Okay, so all we're gonna, all this entire setup is for is making us deuterium. Because if we want to increase the deuterium, or uh, those uh, deuterium power packs, uh, we're gonna want a lot of these. So I'm thinking one loop. <clears throat> Okay, so these are going to loop around. We're going to raise it up. Hmm, we might have to raise this one up.
Yeah, we're going to have to raise this one up. Okay, good to know. Lower that back down. So obviously these need to be in a loop, but we need to add in some fresh ones into this loop to keep it in, in completely enclosed. Did I finish that off? Get, get you connected. I just want to finish this off so you see what we're going to do. Because all the other systems, you know, I'm, I'm taking the lessons learned from all the other systems that we've built and applying it to the new builds. So, you know, the, the more densely packed this blue belt is, the faster we're going to get deuterium out of it. So if we, say, split this off and do another system, it's, the belts are going to be much less packed, right? So the belts coming out of this end down here will be will have spaces in it, and you we won't get the throughput. So adding a, adding another line. Let's go out here. Well, let's first request hydrogen. Can we do local? No. Remote. Now, are they are they heading to where we want them to? I guess not. Where are they headed to? Oh, well, they're going way over here. Really? There wasn't any close, huh? Well, at least I, I know that we've got a bunch there. Um, and these don't have any... Oh, they don't have any inserters, sorters, I should say. So let's see if we can find... So every four. Basically every other setup. So, and that's one of the reasons I made sure there were spaces in between to make sure that wasn't too bad. Uh, all right, so this you're gonna have hydrogen coming out. Let's go up. Okay. Now for the output. We are going to feed. Do we have any tanks storage? We have some tanks. Can we make more tanks? Can. All right. Um, think what we're going to do. slide in right here yeah they don't have power right now all right so these well, I'm gonna try to put them into here so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have two setups up here so there's gonna be two banks right here feeding into one system. Then I'm going to have two banks here feeding into system and then two banks down here. So there's going to be six total lines of deuterium coming in here. So I think right here is going to be one. Right here is going to be one. And here. that and I can multiple stack those as I, as I need but 
for now, I wanted to get a system up and running. There we go. <clears throat> so yeah, they have an internal buffer of what? 30 is what they want. And once they have that, things just flow the way they flow. So that'll eventually all build up. So to replicate this is relatively simple. You just do this, one, two, three. Oh man, that, that, that mass building is so nice. Like so. We need one in between. Like that. The output. Lot of lot of like belt snap points in here. This is gonna go right in to there. Obviously not compressed completely. Um, and then we're gonna have. Oh yeah, this needs to rise up. So we can go over this belt. All right. So now we're going to need another line of of hydrogen out of here. And we're going to go right in like that. I want to try to line up everything nicely. Filter right in there. <clears throat> it says, you know, if you have the space and the power, this is definitely more efficient on the hydrogen than um, using the particle accelerators. Because particle accelerators, you know, guarantee you're going to consume 10 to make 5. This, if you've got the, you know, the space, and I can just add another two rows of solar panels if I need more power. Because this planet actually has pretty decent solar returns. Bingo. Now for the outputs. Well, yeah, let's get the outputs on this one. A lot of deuterium storage. This is a lot of intricate little belt design, belt placement. And the developers are working on a blueprint system. 
Um, but given the, the spherical grid nature of the game, um, I would imagine... I would imagine that is a, a very complex problem to solve. There we go. Now, if, if it turns out, okay, it looks like, yeah, once they're all empty, everything is fine. I could even probably add another bank into this one to max that belt out, but again, I really don't want to. So the other thing we're going to have in here is deuterium. There it is. And it's going to be a supply. We don't even have close to 10,000 in there. I think this whole thing holds 10,000. And we're actually not chewing through that much hydrogen. I mean, yeah, we're chewing through it, but, but not in such large quantities if we were setting up particle accelerators we would be using a vast vast amount of uh yeah we'd be using two a second for each crafter that that would be a lot of hydrogen oh man so much hydrogen but this way i mean we're getting it's it's a one-to-one -one, but only a one percent chance so yeah it, it's time consuming, certainly, um, but that's one of the reasons why I brought 10 stacks of fractionators. You know, it is what it is. So, plus, plus, plus. And we should have plenty of room in here. As long as you don't click the fractionators out of your construct mode, you should keep that. Oh man, those are facing the wrong way, aren't they? Oh no. I was like, I panicked there for a second. I want to get all of these in. I don't know what the, you know, best ratio is or anything like that, but... You know, this is working for me. So there's the two banks for that middle one. All right, I think they'll fit. Yeah, this is going to be a monumental amount of belt. So I wanted to, I'll, I'll do the belt off camera. That's not a problem. This game is getting, uh, it's taking quite a while to get each episode recorded. Typically games average about an hour per episode. And this one here now is, we're, we're approaching an hour and a half, two hours per episode. You know, in, in game time compared to how many, how much I get out of it. Okay, we gotta thread the needle here. And then this one here. This is a lot of fractionators. Like, I don't know. Has anybody out there built a system as big as this? Or bigger? Have you have you encircled an entire planet with fractionators? I, I'm assuming somebody out there has. Somebody out there has gotten gone way crazy and, and just maxed this system out. You can imagine what that does to your FPS, though. So this system here, I 
begin with with this. We need to go up. 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 And can we then go down? We can. No. Because these are going to come out and in. Now, hydrogen coming out of here, that's going to be tricky. Because what I want to do so this one is going to feed directly in to there. This one is going to feed. What, what are you doing, sir? Directly into there. So this is going to come out hydrogen. Uh, up and then in like so. Three more banks. We have three slots there. Okay. Look at that. Look how much deuterium we've already got. We've got a decent amount of deuterium already. And that's just, you know, one one set of those things operating. Now imagine when we get these two going, it's going to be pretty impressive. Okay, so these are going to be here to here. Here. Oh, I could just join them up there. Fairly easy. Go auto save. Yeah. Okay. So I think this other hydrogen over here, we're going to have to come out and then feed in over here. So let's do that. Here, hydrogen. There, up. in like so these last two will come out over here and this last one here will come out and in right there these last two will come out right there so this one come out there up in Uh, yeah, you gotta be. You just gonna go straight in. Nice. Okay. I think I have a little hydrogen on me. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, I can't. I can't manually stuff hydrogen in there. All right, there's a lot of belts to do in here, but I think we will, I think we'll manage and end the episode actually on time this time. Wow, because, you know, it's so easy to lose track of time. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll get all of this stuff up and running um, in between episodes. A lot of belt to place. Should have enough. Should have enough. As far as power goes... Wait, what is going on here? Okay, there it is, down here. I was like, power load zero? Oh, down here. Right. 
All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.